multiple devices today because technology has not been working in my favor today. If you're watching this right now, you are actually watching from my new Facebook page. If you're watching from this angle, uh, you're watching on YouTube or from one of my private groups, uh, Door Hanger Painting Tips or something like that. So um, I did direct people to come to the new page uh, from the text that I sent out today. But you're going to get this angle if you're on the Facebook page because StreamYard, which I usually use for that nice dual camera action, is not working well uh, with it's not working with the new Facebook page. It won't let me connect it. And so if you like that side by side um, dual camera, you're going to have to come over to YouTube. And so I'm going to drop the link for that in the comments for any of you who like prefer that over this. Um, but either way, I'm glad that you're here. We're going to be painting this little mason jar with the sunflower on it. It's called the Home Sweet Home Mason Jar. And we're going to chat about the upcoming Americana Painting Week. So the door hanger that you see hanging up behind me, let me change camera angles here. The door hanger you see hanging up behind me is the Americana truck design from Art Rave. We're collaborating with Art Rave Studios on this design, and we've turned it into a door hanger. It was originally a um, canvas painting. And so if you want to come and paint this with me, I did put the link um, in the video description for you all so that you can uh, sign up. It's only $10 to participate. And you can pick up an 18-inch wood round at your local craft store and paint on that. You can order a kit from us. I put the link for that down below as well. Um, and then if you don't, or maybe you're just wanting to buy new paint, because, you know, some of us do like to do that. Uh, there is a paint pack from DecoArt that you can get. And if you tried to purchase it a few days ago, it was sold out. Well, it's now back in stock. So um, I went live last night. Yes, Laura says your new shop is amazing. I'll have to show my husband. I went live last night here on my Facebook page and showed uh, a behind the scenes look at our new wood shop. Um, well, I say new, it's been around for about two years, but it's just now really getting to where it's really organized and everything has a place and it's awesome. So if you missed that, go watch that live from yesterday. Thank you guys for popping in here. If you're watching from the new Southern Adornments Facebook page and you haven't hit the like or the follow button yet, be sure and do that because we got hacked on the original page and we had to set up this new page. So that's where we are right now. Uh, Cassie, the new Facebook page is just Southern Adornments. I dropped the decor so that it would make it easy for me to distinguish between the old and the new because we're still hoping to get that old page back and hopefully we'll be able to. Um, but like I was saying before, on the Americana Truck Workshop, if you can't find an 18 inch wood round or maybe painting something this big is scary to you, last week I went live and painted this little wood block size it's like what is this like a six inch wood block five inch ish yeah, um yeah. and so i showed how you could print this out like a four inch template and um i finished it up by adding a cute little pattern around the outside and so that's another option for you you can also pick up pieces at your local dollar tree you know you can't put it on this side but you could flip it over and paint it on this side this is um just a way that you'll be able to paint this design and be able to practice painting even if you don't have, um, you know, even if you, so you don't have to break the bank, essentially. Um, they also have at my Dollar Tree, these 12 inch wood rounds. They're only like an eighth inch thick. Somebody suggested buying two of them and gluing them together for more stability. So it feels a little bit more, you know, substantial. Put some wood glue and clamp it. So that's a good idea. You could also pick up a cheap canvas from the Dollar Tree and put this on a canvas. Um, and then the last option that I showed last week was like this little bunny sign from the Dollar Tree. They have these little things all the time and they're kind of like a, uh, I guess this is, this might be a type of MDF. I'm not really sure, but it's only an eighth inch thick. And last week I showed how to transfer the design to something like this. And so those are lots of ways that you can get started and be able to paint this design with us for just $10. Um, and so I'm excited to paint with you. It starts next week on Tuesday at, um, on April 16th, sorry, my brain is like, I'm, it's hard to like focus looking here and looking here, reading comments, both places. April 16th, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's when it begins. And we are, we still have a Facebook group for that. It's called the Americana Paint Truck Painting Week Facebook group. Um, and we will be emailing you guys out a link for where to find me live when um, I go live that night. Uh, thank you, Sherry. What questions do you guys have? Michael's here with me to help me read the questions uh, while I paint. Brandy Joe said that Walmart sells a 16-inch rounds that are pretty nice and heavy. 
Oh, I did not know that. That's great. And I like to think that a lot of these stores have started carrying a lot of this stuff because of you all and because of my videos. And they're like, you know what? This door hanger thing really is catching on. I guess we should just start selling wood blanks. <laughs> Uh, Tammy Dandridge said, can you see my name? Yes, I can see your name. It's just I'm looking in five different places for comments, so it's hard to keep up. You know, uh, I remember being in, was it a gas station? What was it? No, it was in uh, Cracker Barrel. Last time I went to Cracker Barrel, mm -hmm. and I saw these little Kentucky-shaped magnets that were cut out, and they'd been cut out by a laser machine, and, it, and they said that they were made in uh, eastern Tennessee. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's pretty cool. Um, I just dropped the link for you. Sherry was asking where to sign up for the workshop. I put the link down in the video description. If you're watching on Facebook, I can uh, drop it here. Just a moment. Um, Michelle said, Michelle Borders said that Home Depot has 18 inch rounds for $10 and it's quarter inch. Okay. And Hobby Lobby has 18 inch rounds uh, for 40% off right now. That was from Kimberly. Hold on. I can't talk and type at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to type the link in for the people who are watching here on the original Facebook page. Or not the original Facebook page. The new Facebook page. My bad. Um, and I'm going to just pin it so that you guys can find it easily. Because I don't want to have to like lean up here and type this in again. So um, I'm going to pin it for you. Also, if you guys don't mind, please share this video. Since we're having to start a brand new Facebook page, it's been a struggle to like have everybody find me and whatnot. And I have been so thankful that so many of you guys have already been sharing my original post from where I set the page up. Because within less than 24 hours, we were already at like 2,400 followers. So um, I know like Brooke Riley shared it and um, Stacey Collins, Cindy Manley, several of you guys, um, all of my creative club girls were sharing the link and trying to help everybody find me. So I really appreciate that. If you guys can hit that share button and share this video, that will help get the word out as well. It is so hard when you had a page originally with a lot of people following it and everybody knew where to find you to suddenly start from scratch with zero followers over again and then try to get the word out about something you're doing just next week when there's so little time. Uh, so Melissa said, uh, should we paint the round with a base coat before? Oh, I forgot to turn on the overhead. Button. We traced the pattern. <laughs> uh, uh, should we what? Should, should, we, we, should we paint the round with a base coat before we trace the pattern? Um, you can. I'm not going to. When I paint it, I'm just going to leave it the same wood color and just start painting from scratch on that. I'm not doing a base coat. And Lisa Guzman said, uh, Tamara, what color can I use as an alternate Victorian blue? I can't find it. Okay. Um, let's see. Victorian blue, you could take any sort of normal blue, like primary blue, bright blue, ocean blue, any of those like, you know standard blue colors and you could mix just a little bit of gray sky with that like a gray color with your blue and it's going to tone it down just a little bit the victorian blue is a little bit more like a, a denim blue jean blue so it's a little more muted a little less like highly saturated in color uh, and michelle borders wanted to know if uh everybody will be able to access uh, the library with files we've bought. Um, with files that you've bought. Are you talking about templates that you've bought in our store? Because uh, the hack that happened when my Facebook page got hacked, it was just the page. The shop, the website, all of that is perfectly fine and intact. Everything you've purchased, you can still go up back and download and all of that. It did not affect any of your personal information or any of that. It just affected my Facebook page. So, um, yes, you'll still be able to go in and download your templates and all those sort of things. Uh, I saw, uh, hang on, I saw Katie on YouTube ask a question. She said, do you need, do we need to sign up if we're a member of Painters Clubhouse? No, Painters Clubhouse members get free access to our workshops. So if you're a Clubhouse member, go to the Clubhouse Facebook group and look in the Featured tab, and there's information for how to participate there. Uh, Cheryl Brock just signed up for the workshop. Yay! I'm so excited to paint with you, Cheryl. 
Who else has signed up for the workshop? Drop me a comment and let me know. And Sally Holder said that uh, Cindy from Art Shattered had told uh, them last night that's and that she found you. I got you. Okay. Uh, somebody said, I tried to share this video, but it says I can't because it's private. You are probably watching inside of our Door Hanger Painting Tips Facebook group. And anything shared inside of a private group can't be shared out. But what you can do is come over to my Southern Adornments page on Facebook and share that video um, because it is a public video on a public page. I wasn't able, my StreamYard, uh, since we got this new page, will not connect to the new page. Um, and I don't know why, but it will not. And so I'm not able to stream this to my normal page in the normal way. So if you're watching from this and you prefer that dual camera overhead look, you can come over to YouTube and watch there um, and see, still see me with the dual cameras. Well, a lot of hey, Tara. Hi, Vicki. Um, do you need to block the other page? I would snooze it. Do you know how to snooze a page? You can like make it not show up in your newsfeed for 30 days. I would do that rather than block it because if I am able to get it back, then you'll, you'll have a harder time figuring out how to unblock me. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I do. Ideally. Ideally. Beasley said that she hates that this happened, but in all of this happening that she found you and she's a new follower. Oh, well, thank you. It's awesome to see some new followers, even in the midst of all of this chaos. Um, if you're new here, go sign up for our Americana truck painting week. It starts next uh, next Tuesday <laughs> and it's just $10 to sign up and you can paint live with me. Barbara Smith uh, Turner said, hello, looks funny. You painting backwards. Oh yeah. I forgot to flip the camera, didn't I? Would y'all like me to flip it so you can see me the right way? I forgot when you go when you go live the old school way on your phone like this, you have to flip that camera so that it um, shows up right. And uh, Carrie Thomas wanted to know if she if she said, can we purchase the truck project this weekend when she's here? Uh, yes, I believe so. We'll have some. We'll have some, yeah, I think. Yeah. We will. How do you snooze? Um, Sabrina, when you see one of their posts pop up in your newsfeed, in the corner of the post, there's that button that looks like three little dots. I think on there, there's a snooze option. Okay, I've got my mason jar painted with a coat of, this is a new color that I bought. It's called Blue Haven. It's like a really soft, milky blue. Um, so I'm using that for my mason jar. So I'm gonna let that first coat dry and then we might do um, some shading with some white on it. Looks like we've got a lot of people that signed up for the American Contract. Awesome. Yay. Oh, Laura joined me over on YouTube because she likes the double view better. <laughs> That's okay. If you want to come find me on YouTube and watch me on the side by side, just share this video first and then you can pop over there and follow on YouTube if you want. Um, Sarah says, can't wait to paint next week with you. I, I love, love, love trucks. I feel like this is a new take on a truck too that I haven't done before. Like it's not the traditional side of the truck and it's not the entire full bed of the truck it's just part of it um if, and i'll switch the camera angle so you guys can see the whole thing this is the design we're talking about hanging up behind me here so you only see like part of the truck um like i said it's a collaboration with art rave studios so the di the thing that's a little different about this design than some of my others is you can sell what you paint with this design so if you paint this door hanger you can sell it what you can't do is you can't go and teach it in a paint party or an online party um, unless you buy a license from Art Rave Studios. And so I've got instructions for how to do that. If you want to just email us, we'll um, give you instructions on how to do that for those that are interested. OK, Judy asked a question. Um, curious if you will point out which brushes to use for each task. Yes. So when I go live in a workshop, I'm doing a whole lot less talking like I'm doing now. And I'm doing a lot more like answering questions, saying this is the brush that I'm using. This is the size of the brush, those sort of things. And I'm explaining way more in detail how to do exactly what I'm doing with lots of little tips, for, especially for beginners. One of the fun things that we love to do on in every one of our workshops is um, toward the end of the workshop, we'll ask a question. What was a golden nugget that you got out of tonight's live? And everybody always shares something that they learned that was like a light bulb moment for them or a golden nugget. And so that's it's so cool because people share something different. Some people that are new to painting will share something. People who've been painting for a while will usually share something else. 
And so it's a great way to learn a lot of new painting tips all in one night or two nights rather because it's a two night workshop. Sabrina Seller said, uh, do you know anything about deco art updating the sample color page? Um, the color paint pack from deco art that we're using for this workshop was sold out, but today they increased the stock. So they are available now. And I did put the link to go buy that paint pack in the video description here. So you can go grab it. And Shonda Delights wants to know how long, uh, what's it, how long do uh, we have to sign up? Uh, well, it starts next Tuesday night, so you've got until Tuesday, I guess, to sign up. Uh, however, uh, what's today? Today's the night. Tomorrow is the last day to, like, order a kit and have it guaranteed to arrive in time for the workshops. So if you haven't bought your kit yet, you've been on the fence and you're having trouble finding supplies, don't hesitate any longer. Go ahead and buy that kit so that you've got it and you're going to be ready to paint live with us. And make sure and order your paint if you don't have, you know, the colors that you need. But like I said, if you have paint colors at home and, you know, you think you've got colors that are close enough, just choose what you've got. Don't feel like you have to buy a bunch of new stuff. Um, and Vicki Strong just got on and uh, she said that she wanted to know what time the American truck door hanger classes are. Uh, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. I was going to show y'all. I did a little bit of, whoops, I messed that spot up. I did a little bit of shade. And really easily. That's a beautiful color. Uh, now Michelle Porter said that she bought the Henrietta kit last year. She hadn't painted it yet. Henrietta <laughs> kit. Well, Henrietta is a fall design. So just put Henrietta in the closet for a couple more months <laughs> and paint a truck with us. And then you can pull Henrietta, at, Henrietta out around July and start painting her in time for fall. And Sabrina Sellers, she asked about the decor. She was wondering about the color chart update. Oh, I don't know. Um, Sandy McTeer, she is one of Decor's like um, ambassadors. She's the one who made that color chart. And um, I haven't spoken with her about that, so I'm not, not really sure when she's going to have a chance to update it. But I'd be willing to bet she's going to update it soon, I would think. But I don't really know. I'll have to find out from her because she's the one who made it. Deco Art didn't make, make the color chart. She did. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. I feel like, well, I'm going to post for a photo first. Michael, take the pictures for the vlog. <laughs> um, Norma says, can you tell me where the supply list is for the truck? Yeah. Norma, after you sign up and you pay the $10, you'll have, have a, a spot there where, where you can go and download the template and the supply list. I would say if you're having a hard time finding it, um, there's also probably a link in the Americana Truck Facebook group that you can grab, um, or you can just email us and we can point you in the right direction. The email is info at southernadornmentsdecor.com. Yeah. I want to know how often Hank's Clubhouse um, The Clubhouse opens usually twice a year um we've actually kind of left it open after last or i don't know when it was sometime last year we ended up leaving it open um and we didn't close it back up but we are getting ready to close it back up after this, this opening um because that just makes it easier for us to manage all of the things on the back end keep track of who is a member who's not all of that stuff so if you've been thinking about joining and you've been on the fence and just haven't pulled the trigger yet this uh next week on Friday, April 19th, will be, is that next week? Yeah, Friday, April 19th, uh, you'll have an opportunity to join us. Um, you know, if you're taking part in this workshop, you can actually join before that as a part of the workshop. So that'll be good. I actually mixed a little bit of white with my, my yellow to kind of get this to cover better. Um, and so I feel like this overhead camera is turning out a little on the blurry side and it's frustrating me. So I'm sorry if some of you guys Somebody said the sound is breaking up too on YouTube. That's strange. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. If you're watching on Facebook, be sure and hit that like and follow button because this is my new Facebook page. The other one got hacked. We're still trying to get it back. Um, and if you could please hit that share button, that way it gets the word out about this new page because um, we are kind of starting from scratch all over again. Put another coat on this. I'm just using, um, what color is this? Cadmium yellow. I wanted a 
nice bright sunny yellow and then we're going to go back and do a little bit of shading with a sort of more golden yellow that sounds correct huh i wonder if well Emily said that she had to go out and come back in did to it fix it? the sound did it fix it when you did that it seems like it's only people on youtube so that's weird i don't see anybody on facebook saying that uh joanne um um, said that she's watching on Facebook and, and coming in loud with her. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to show this to you guys so that just in case we just gave it a, another coat. I do have texture on my sunflower petals, and that's okay. You do have texture. That, that's that's totally okay. Let's go that way. Yeah. Some people, you know, they get all caught up in like, oh, my paint doesn't look smooth enough and whatnot, especially on flowers like this. Texture is okay. It makes them look a little bit more like ruffly. Still glitchy on YouTube. Robin says staticky on Facebook. Yeah, Lori yeah, Peterson said static book also. Hmm. I don't know what that would be unless it's like our Wi Fi or if it's like all the technology interfering with each other. Yes, yeah, it's uh, um, Suzanne said. Okay. okay. Let's try. 